the pad. The gardens, got a bit of corn, had a bit of spinach going, gonna replant that. Good variety, variety is the spice of life. Variety is the key. So it's just my first year this year of growing food, which has been fun. And then, so I learned a lot. Learned that you can grow cucumbers up, up uh, strings and things. Uh, makes it easier to harvest and also means you grow growing vertically, it gives sunlight to the other plants, it takes up less space in your garden, you fit more in. Um, I'm the youngest of six and I grew up in Hornsby. It's only 35 minutes away by car, but to get there by yourself it, it takes like an hour and a half, two hours, you know, and then uh, sometimes a little bit longer. When I started getting really into it on my own accord, then I, then I would um, make, the, make the hike myself try and hit some early missions and stuff. And when you get down to the beach and you just travel two hours to be there, it doesn't matter what it's like, you're going out, you know. Everyone close to me knew that, that the city was getting a little bit too much for me because I wasn't chasing my dream and that was leading, you know, to, to a bit of depression and, and a bit of hard times and, and just, you know, like, it's definitely can shrug it all off and have a good time. But uh, in the morning, if you, you know, you wake up and you're not living the life of your dreams, then, then it hurts, you know, and some people are more sensitive than others, so it hurt me a bit. And uh, so it's really refreshing to, to move, move, move away. And living at the beach just brought it back to just me and the ocean. That is a real special thing for me. It's my 12 foot log. <laughs> It's my best mate Al Nolan's dad's board and I was riding it at two foot palmy and then it, um, it snapped while I was riding it and I was a grommet with not much money and I just snapped this like $1,500 surfboard and I was like, fuck, you know, I was fucking rattled. And so I bought him a new board and I fixed that one and then um, I was getting feelings I'd never felt from any other surfboard and then one day I started getting quite barreled on it. That's where the love of big boards came from. <laughs> to have that Avalon swell when I never really got to use that 12 foot gun uh, properly and then and then get that massive wave on it, you know, my first wave. And, uh, and immediately when I came up from that wave, I just thought, oh, that board just paid for itself, you know. And, um, and then to share that with my mates and to share that with, you know, the whole community, um, that was, that was, uh, that day at Av was one of the most magical days of my life. It will always be, because that really, um, that really solidified, um, you know, my, my path. And I think that's a big part of life, kind of sinking into the ocean. I think that's pretty much one of my goals is, I think if the ocean's high energy, that's your time to be high energy, you know? So I'm, I'm as excited as I'll, as I'll ever be, you know what I mean? Spitting barrels rev my engine. Orange sky behind me As I head down the highway